So after about four mile walk, everything's been seems to be working okay with the shifter now. It still has, it's still not perfect, but it's a lot better. We can actually get the gears working in it. And let me move this out of the way and I'll show you. Basically what I did was I put a washer in behind the, on this side of it. Since I had it all taken apart, I ended up grinding down a little bit of the plastic that sticks out on this side of the servo. So the, the plastic that sticks out over here, I grind that down flat to where this washer fits flat along the side on the top and the bottom of that opening. So I got a little drawing, maybe that'll show you what I think is what's going on. So basically, as you can see here in the drawing, that this piece of plastic right here will fit down inside this tray right here. And then the part that comes down on top of it, this also has a like a line for that to go into. So that will go into it. So then you have your shift fork here, or this is your lever for your transfer case and then your transmission two speed comes in on this side so basically when this pushes all of this in here gets twisted so it sits here like this in in low and then you go to shift it to second and it's your servos pulling this in and this arm's pushing back which creates this to bind up inside that channel so basically what I've tried to do is, is make it so that whenever you do shift, not only do you have this channel to help keep that straight, but you have this on the outside that will help keep it straight also. It works fairly okay. It gets the job done as of right now. I put about four miles on it. And near the end I was having some problems where I was having to shift it like a couple times. But this right here is a problem. People make this, turn this into metal. And what they're doing there is basically getting away from the plastic twisting and binding in here. Which I can see that working. But I really think that this whole design needs, I don't know, something needs to change about it. Because uh, I, I really feel like something needs to be on the outside of the frame to help keep that straight when it shifts and not try to twist inside there so hopefully that will maybe get somebody on the track on how to get theirs fixed or working better I would say this isn't fixed but I'd also say it's a hundred times better than factory so take that how you want to take that it's got the gum back out tore it all down fixed it the dig and two speed shift part. A little on a four mile hike today. I'll stop and do a little bit of crawling along the way, but here at the lake, Lake Meredith. So basically, the big walk is I have a theory on why it gets messed up, and so I'm gonna kind of simulate probably a few adventures out crawling and see if I get it, got it fixed. If I did, then I'll show you what I did. So this is probably about the only hardcore rock crawling there is on this trail. Look at that shit. Yeah. Uh, sigh boring well so far everything's working good this is the shitty part of the walking path because as you can see it's got all these rocks a lot of these little rocks that the gom's on now and it's got rocks it's kind of some loose spots and these rocks will hurt your feet especially if you're a fat guy like me all right this spot we're probably three quarter to a mile in um gom's doing just fine so that Mesa Loop 
I've done it. Daughter and I did that with our crawlers. It's pretty boring for crawl. It's even more boring than the rest of the trail is. But uh, yeah, we got a long ways to go. We gotta go all the way down that round, all the way down through there. So when I get over there, I'll try to take a video coming back this way. Decided to film this. This might be exciting. Probably not. But. Man, I don't know how many spider webs I've taken out so far on this trail. Nothing. Walked it. Alright, here we are. Probably halfway between. Uh, we were up there on that hill. Right up in there. And uh, we still gotta go way over there. But there's this big gray. I, I wouldn't call it a rock, but dirt area. We always stop here. It's about a mile and a half from the truck. So, I can't believe I got here. I got here in 45 minutes today. It's pretty good. Usually I'm dragging. As far as the GOM, dig's still working good. Let me put it in. Still no problems there. And no problems with the two speed. Second gear, going second, whatever you call it. So, I may have fixed it. I would like to one of these days walk the water line down there because right in this area it's boring but there's some rocks you know as you get further along. Someday. All right, where we're at now we're coming up into the little valley portion of this. It's kind of got a neat little water crossing up here in the trees. Uh, kind of neat. Neat for the trail. How's that? Yeah. Because I know somebody will see this and they'll be like, that ain't shit. Yeah, it's not. But for here, it's cool. So it's kind of walking over to check it out. I don't know how many spider webs I've taken out. I'm hoping that somebody's walking the other way and they've taken out the spider webs over there. Oh, wow. This has grown up. I'm starting to wonder if people walk this much anymore. Yeah, right here's the water crossing. Yep. And there's nothing today. Oh, I almost fell. So I dropped my foot off in that one day. Hurt. Glad I didn't get hurt, hurt. So this is usually like a little stream. Yeah, it's totally dry. It's crazy. We just got rain not long ago. So not much further up here. There's a spot where I usually have to pick it up and carry it. So we'll uh, see if I can get around that today. Wow. That was interesting. So here I am at the spot where you gotta usually pick it up. Uh, bugs all over me. <laughs> So, can't really go that way. Can't really go that way. Well, no. So, <laughs> I thought, well, maybe I'll just try this. And, hey. Maybe I'll just get over there and get it out of there. <laughs> Here's another little dried up water crossing. Try to get down here without busting my butt. Ran into all kinds of spider webs out here. That's probably the hardest thing right here, right in this area. The gum's like, whatever. Whatever. Still in whatever, don't care mode. <laughs> All right, well, here we are on the farther side now. We were all the way over there earlier. About up there somewhere is where that sign is in that lower part of that mountainside, hillside. We went all the way around 
Here we are, we're in the sun now. Time to bake. Onward. Bit of a G made here update. So we've gone about two and a half miles. Everything seems to be working still. <clears throat> so the G made the GOM, I, I really like this rig myself. It's probably my go to rig. It's uh, very capable. I like the way it looks to me, it's free scale. And, you know, yeah, they do use pot metal for their gears. The transmission gears have already wore out in it. And I went ahead and they have aftermarket steel upgrades. And they're in there now. But uh, the diffs I haven't done yet. I figure this little hike here is going to be like three months of wear on them. <laughs> Even though it's not that bad of a hike. So I figure that'll be next. We'll be changing them out. Other than that, it's been really good. The uh, Axe 2300KV. It's been a great uh, motor ESC for it. it. Gives me really good control, I think. Uh, I know the Fusion seems to have better control. But this one's got plenty of great control. I would highly recommend one of these, especially if we can get that damn uh, shifting deal fixed on it. I wish that G May would come up with a fix for it, but if maybe people catch this video early enough, they can see what the fix is. Maybe while they're building it.